the basic idea of, of the way we want to impact the world is by taking one child at a time, do for one what you want to do for many, and love them where they are, because most of them's pretty broke or the backgrounds are. The child's life is not broken because it wants to be, it's broken because of the world around it. And so we want to be the love that that child needs to feel safe. And when they do, their education changes, their capacity for growing as a person changes, and they become a whole being. Colin Powell came out with what was called America's Promise at the time, which said that from the hours of three to six is the greatest danger zone for a child to do something illegal and to have something done to them illegal. they had these categories. Well, what I thought was interesting was we were addressing every category that national statistics and facts proved. Well, we did that not because we had a PhD on board. We did it because it was the most common sense thing in the world. Kids need people in their lives when they're not old enough to make good decisions. And when they are old enough to make good decisions, but they haven't had mentoring and adults in their lives to lead them, they still need people in their lives. And that's what we chose to be, are those people. And in that time frame, from three o'clock to seven o'clock, we are their safety net, their family, their education system, their mentor, their parent, we're everything. When they come to us, um, they are broken and they are afraid and they're, they don't know where they're going. All they know is that there's somebody new in their life and usually people don't stay. So we're the ones who stay. The longer we keep them, the greater chance they're gonna have of becoming. If we weren't picking kids up or taking kids home, they wouldn't be at our place. One brake job on a car that needs to be done that doesn't get done can mean you're gonna to have to move because you don't only lose your job, you lose your home and you have to go somewhere else to figure out how to live. That's why we transport. Yeah. Our board of directors has never blinked at what it takes to take care of children they've committed to, we're gonna do it. I watch our staff um, take kids because of their heart for the kids and where they are. That first they find out that the kids' lives are messed up and their, their family life, they may not live with their mom. Their mom may be an addict, their dad may be in jail. Our kids have this um, fear when they go through their day until they learn that somebody loves them where they are. And as they are, uh, they really don't move much. But when they learn that they're loved, we had a kid just the other day said, so you really are my family. And you're like, they're so broken. And that they, they, uh, they're so lacking or missing love of a family. Because honestly, you can change somebody's whole life if you simply love them where they are and walk with them. And as far as dealing with everything in their lives, we, that we'll make that happen as, as time goes. Just, it's just one day at a time though. That's the only way you can change a kid's life.